Now we're going to turn up the power. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Even when there's practically zero flow of argon gas to the tube, look how much thrust we get. Hello friends, this is the Ion Rocket. It works based on magnetic lens repulsion of ionized argon gas at very high frequencies. No one has done this before. Would you like to find out how it works? Here it is in daylight. You can see five wire coils wrapped around a plastic tube which carries argon gas from a supply. It works basically according to this simple principle. Ejecting ions from a wire coil using AC electricity. If we have AC electricity, as shown in these were crop drawings, and we put argon gas to the middle, it can be ejected as thrust like in a rocket, but only at very high frequencies. When we have two wires carrying Tesla core radiation, one inside a plastic tube, which is ionizing argon gas, and we bring up a second wire with the same radiation right out of the Tesla coil, you can see energies magnetic from the second wire are repelling argon gas as it's formed by the first wire. If we attach an aluminium plate to that second wire, and the gas is still ionizing. You can see as the aluminium plate gets near the argon gas, it reduces its ionization and repels it from some distance. Likewise, if we place the aluminium plate around the first wire with no power from the Tesla coil, it ionizes quite nicely. But then when we bring up a wire from the Tesla coil with some power and touch that plate, the ionization shuts off. Next, let us place a copper wire coil around that tube of argon gas which is being ionized by a single wire from a Tesla coil. Then we, when we place power from the Tesla coil through that wire coil, it shuts off. Here's something very important. Even when that copper wire coil is not connected to Tesla coil energy, but just standing alone by itself with the path to ground, opening a path to ground greatly stimulates ionization by the first wire coming from a Tesla coil. When we provide Tesla coil energy to that copper wire coil by an aluminium plate and a path to ground, you get a huge increase of ionization. 
the aluminium plate shuts off ionization when the copper wire is turned off and then when it gets a path to ground ionization turns on again. Do the same thing in another orientation. Here a copper wire coil without any Tesla coil energy can greatly stimulate ionization of argon gas if it provides it with a path to ground. And you can see the argon ions are trying to go down onto the copper plate to ground. Next, if we add Tesla coil energy to that aluminium plate and put a wire coil on top of it and give it a path to ground, we see a similar stimulus when a path to ground overrides the repelling influence of the aluminium plate. We turn the same device on its side this is where you want the ions to go. Right to left and not up to down. Now the magnetic fields are going left to right in the direction where the ions are flowing. Let's see what happens in a more formal arrangement of this device. Now we take power from the Tesla coil and put it into the aluminium plate. The argon gas is flowing and we put the coil right up against it vertically with a switchable path to ground and it explodes like an iron rocket. Okay, let's turn up the power. Pretty impressive, isn't it? To fully understand this device, let's place the aluminium plate with its Tesla coil wire on the left and we'll place the copper wire coil on the right which has no power input, just two wires which can be connected by a flip switch to ground. And when Tesla coil power goes into the aluminium plate, it can induce lens currents in this copper wire coil and we can see what happens when those lens currents are induced opposite the flow of argon gas which is going from right to left. Now with this reversed arrangement you can clearly see the argon gas wants to flow left to right away from the aluminium plate and out of the copper wire coil upstream against the flow of the argon gas. On the other side absolutely nothing's coming out. So the arrangement of the aluminium plate and the copper wire coil tell you in which direction the ionized argon gas wants to flow. When we turn up the power, we get very impressive results. That's 60 watts, 1 amp. 
going through the coil. The iron rocket. Even when there's practically zero flow of argon gas through the tube, look how much thrust we get. Something else we can do to accelerate argon gas after it's ionized, if we place an aluminum plate with a hole in the exhaust, then we get a lot of plasma between the plate and the coil and you can feel the thrust with your hand coming out of there. Now if we take a big chunk of aluminium and place it on one side of the exhaust, you can see the currents want to go into the aluminium and then sideways and down the ground. <laughs>